This is a common crow butterfly, also known as an oleander butterfly. One day I observed a female laying an egg on a leaf of a fig tree. She was very particular about which leaf and only laid one egg, then she flew away. Around about 14 days later, the egg developed a dark spot at the bottom. You could see movement. Then 16 days later, something amazing happened. That little caterpillar chewed his way out of that egg. He was ready to start a new life. The little caterpillar's main aim in life was to eat and grow big. It started by scraping at the leaf, then began to chew the edges. It wasn't long before it was too big for its skin so it had to shed it. This is called an instar. During the next 10 to 12 days, it went through about five instars. each time getting bigger and getting more and more colour and distinctive markings. You could see it was definitely a common crow caterpillar. As it started a new leaf to chew, it would first chew halfway through the stem. I don't know why it did this, it seemed peculiar, but it did it to every leaf it started. As it got bigger, it became an eating machine, devouring two to three leaves a day. And there was some sense of urgency. Then it stopped and rested a few hours. After that, its behavior changed. Then as I watched it, I noticed it was depositing a white glue-like substance on the underside stem of a leaf. Then it turned around and glued its tail into the white blob. Then over some time it began to change. You could see it was changing, you could see its body moving inside. Then all of a sudden, within a few minutes, it shed its skin again. But this time, it had changed its shape. It was becoming a pupae.
During the next few days, its pupa hardened and became very shiny, very chrome-like. You could see some movement inside, like pulsating like it was a heartbeat. And it was becoming darker in colour. Its wings became very visible as it became even darker. Then it started to move and like magic it emerged. A full-grown butterfly. It hung there on its empty chrysalis to dry and pump up its wings. Then after a few hours it spread its wings and it was gone. It was off to find a mate and start the process over again. <laughs>